my name's Kylie, I'm 38 and um, I completed the Thrive program earlier this year. I did choose to get a coach. Um, I have suffered from emetophobia for as long as I can remember, at least 20 or plus years, um, a very long time. And it basically was ruling everything that I did. Um, didn't want to go on holidays and involved a plane. I would end up forcing myself. However, it was awful. Um, affected me a lot at work. Never ate with my hands at work. I would always take things that had knives and forks to eat with, um, which then made me look strange if I was eating things like grapes with a fork. <laughs> um, I, oh, everywhere, um, when I had my daughter, it got quite bad if she was ever to cough or anything like that. And um, I eventually came, became quite reliant on um, my partner and then now my mother to help parent when I couldn't, when I wasn't able to. Um, when I saw about, I've seen this program online for ages now and I'd tried going to a therapist, all that sort of stuff, but nothing ever worked. And I just sort of come to the fact that I just have this and I will just have to live with this my whole life and I'm okay with that. And that's just how it's gotta be. And oh, I came to a bit of a breaking point at the start of this year and I'm like, nah, got to do something. This is ridiculous. And I looked into the program even further and I saw that you could get a coach. Um, I'm a single mum right now. So forking out that money was a tough decision for me. Um, but I thought, God, if it's going to work, it's worth every cent on this planet. Um, and boy, oh boy, has it been worth every dollar. Um, my coach was amazing. I don't know, I, I just think until you hear these people talk, um, testimonials, etc., you think, Ac you, yeah, you actually sound like me, you understand, whereas no one I've ever spoken to before, they don't get it. Um, therapists, etc. you name it. I'd never met anyone else with it, to be fair, which was really odd seeming how common it is. Um, I guess because I never spoke about it, I was embarrassed um, to family anyone, really. They knew I didn't like it, but I didn't, I don't think they really knew the extent that it affected me. So since going on this journey, I have really, um, really tried to be conscious of my thinking. I was a very negative thinker. I still catch myself sometimes, but I do I do really challenge myself and I make myself verbalize it out loud about changing that. Um, because I sometimes think in my mind, it just disappears. Um, so I have to make myself say it out loud so I know it, um, I know it just has more an effect on me in changing it to be positive. And it's actually quite funny in my workplace. They've, st they've started using some terms like catastrophic and things like that, I think, because they've heard me say it, going, oh, you know, Kylie, that's a bit catastrophic. Um, yeah, I love the challenge, challenging your thoughts with the, um, with the evidence. I use that quite a lot, mind mapping. I'm a teacher, so that's kind of my jam for me um yeah I that's probably me my favorite one and change watching my language um I knew I'd probably come down to working out a favorite technique that I do like um and my journaling I think one thing that's really helped me is every morning um you know I'm a single mum at night time you're really tired and I have tried reading at night time and it just has been a bit inconsistent. So in the morning before my daughter gets up, when I've had my, um, when I'm having my breakfast, I have a little place set up at my dining room table. It had my book, it had my journal, it had, um, I'd have there my, you know, my medicine or, and my cup and everything that I needed it was all set up there and I'd go and sit straight there. Everything was there. So I didn't, um, 
it's like being prepared in the morning if you go to the gym or something like that it um and it started to be a habit i'd just go there i'd get my yogurt i'd go and sit straight there um and being really strategic about what i did journal my uh, my coach helped me with that um, when i redid my um tq quiz what came out was you know still areas of um, identifying negative thoughts which i still have to be super conscious about um and i normally you know i still sometimes recognize them after the fact going oh do you realize you just did this so um i'm getting there i'm so much better now i don't have to have my mum stay with me anymore to help me through with my daughter you know she was sick the other day and i um i got her a bowl and i stayed there with her and you know i've eaten at work with my hands and i haven't done that in over a decade and i'm just slowly trying to and i'm building that evidence for myself that i am fine and do you know what if i was to be sick yeah it sucks um but i'm not gonna die like i'm not you know it's not the end of the world so um you know no one likes being sick but it's not something to to rule your life over it doesn't happen all the time it might happen once a year or you know and to build all that emotion about a once in a blue moon event um yeah it was just it was it was controlling my life and i wanted to take my life back so <laughs> If this is ruling your life, which I know it is, because I've been there and I still struggle, I, I still, like I'm going back and reading the manual over again, like my, um, like my coach says that she does, because you just really wanna make it a, a lifestyle, not just a program where you do it once off and you're finished, but an absolute change in your life and a way that you a new way of thinking, a new way of acting, a new way of living.